the wrist lock. One of the most overlooked techniques in jiu-jitsu all the time. Now, you've seen some guys like Jacare do wrist locks and it's really, really nasty. They were just, it's a quick break. It's just a real painful one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just a basic one of those from inside the guard. Now, it's real careful that you, or real important that you be careful with your opponent because if, if you're drilling with your training partner, you don't want to go real hard on the wrist. You want to take it nice and slow and be controlled. So check out this basic one. Like I said, be real careful when you're drilling with your partner just because you don't want to hurt their wrist. In a competition, that's another story. So from inside the closed guard, remember, he's trying to pass, he's trying to open. So what I want to do is I want to start controlling. I want to start grabbing and keeping control of his wrist. Start messing with him. Just start making him think about other things. Like maybe I'm going for a triangle, maybe I'm going for an arm lock, just to keep his mind off his wrist. What I want to do is I'm going to grab his arm, same side, just like this, and then I'm going to switch. But notice how when I switch, see how I'm grabbing just around his wrist? I'm going to grab right over and kind of grab both the wrist and the hand. Once I'm here, I have two options. I can grab the back of the elbow myself, just with my free hand right here, and all I'm going to do is just roll my hand over and push into the elbow. Nice and easy. Now this one's a quick one just because you cross grip, and then once you push in on the hand, remember he's, he's going to try to bring his elbow back to escape. As long as I push like this and his elbow has uh, room to move, he'll always escape or it's just never going to finish him. So what I need to do is I need to put something behind that. So I grab behind the elbow and then push in and lock it in. If his elbow can't escape any further back, he won't get out of the wrist lock. Now, once you have this grip and maybe say this one's not working, you can start switching it up to maybe coming underneath, wrapping it up. And notice how now I'm bringing the hand down towards his elbow. His elbow is pinned in my hip rather than just out floating free. So here we have another option where I come behind and this only job of this arm is to flex that wrist to make it bend that bend over right there. And then I can finish just by pulling it into my hip. Okay, so the wrist lock's just a real basic way of just bending the hand over. And once you've got the elbow blocked, just push the fingers towards the elbow. Easy finish.